talk to you about power in the golf swing. Power doesn't come from speed or firing your hips or rotating your shoulders. If it did, you would have found it by now because that's what you've been trying to do. Power comes from having the club work on a wide circular path. Now, how do we create a wide circular path? It's really simple. When you hold your shoulders closed and you keep your weight still, the club works on its widest and also a circular path. Circular, circular because your weight stays still. If your weight stays still, the club has to work on a circular path. Widest because your shoulders are closed. When your shoulders are closed, the club comes in on the most shallow path. Now to understand that, think about it. 99% of golfers, their flaw is that they come over the top. They come over the top because their shoulders start to rotate too early. When the shoulders rotate too early, the club comes down on a steep path. A steep path is not a wide path. Look at it. Here's a steep path. Here's a wide path. The wide path is running a longer distance into the ball. Naturally, that longer distance will allow it to create more energy in the club, thus producing more power. So power isn't about how fast you move the club. Power is about whether or not you have the club working on a wide and circular path. So the idea of trying to fire your hips is just going to make it difficult for you to run the wide circular path. Because as your hips fire, you're going to come over the top. Instead, hold your closed position, keep your weight still, and just stay still with your weight throughout the swing. And you're going to find that the club will naturally run on a wide and circular path, thus creating power. Wide path. 